What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Fallout 4. My name is Splattercat. Stoked to have you here today as we hang out for a while. And I think we're going to go on with the Minuteman quest this time around. I know I could go back if I really wanted to stick to the quest. So I fixed up our armor. It was all good to go. Surprisingly enough, it took like no damage. There was like 30 hit points missing from each piece. And so I think we're in really solid shape as far as this thing goes along. We need to find somebody to come with us on our adventures. Everybody else should be chilling around here somewhere. I don't know where dog meat and all them end up, but I was expecting to be in the area. Why is there, like, left legs and stuff laying in the middle of the street? That's weird. I don't know. Maybe somebody treaded it on down here. I'm not really sure. Either way, I always send my guys home to Sanctuary Hills. Whether or not they actually get here, I haven't really locked down. But I assume at some point they will. I kind of want to go do the Minutemen quest now. I'm trying to make sure that we make some kind of progress every time I would it. Why are there a bunch of 38 rounds sitting on the ground? Did somebody die? Huh. Somebody must have died. Somebody went off and died. Weird. Alright then. Well, we're up to 12 citizens up in here. I don't really care about, like, the city building part of the game. So, unfortunately, probably not going to spend a ton of time looking at that. However, if we've been... Oh, really? We haven't even been down in that area. Well, that means we need to get as close as possible. And then it looks like we're going to be hoofing it the rest of the way. Huzzah. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. We get water on our camera and whatever. What the hell is a child of the atom? Ow, no! Stop that right now. Why are you shooting me? Holy balls. Yeah, that'll mess with your ability to shoot and see. Yeah, you guys have to go. I'm sorry. Can't have you firing weird, goopy, mutant green shit at me. Gamma rounds? They're called gamma guns, huh? I'll take one real fast. I don't know what they accomplish aside from being an annoyance by forcing me to use my rat away, but it seem like these guys have quite a bit of health. Maybe I've leveled up enough to where we're starting to go after some real enemies now. Can't even really honestly tell you who's shooting at me anymore. It looks like we got some gunners fighting with them too. Christ. And it looks like we are exchanging some nades. I think I crippled that one. There's a gunner down. There's another gunner down. I equipped all that plastic gear we picked up, the PVC shit. It looks really, really ugly, though. It seriously looks like we went to a garbage dump, picked up a bunch of, like, PVC random plastic piping, and then just decided to wear it all over ourselves. It looks like he looted one of the gamma guns, but it ain't gonna help him. I'm gonna put a round right through his muffin, right through the juice box. Let him have it. These guys got laser pistols, a couple of fusion cells. That actually makes me pretty happy because I want to equip them. Got a green bandana, green flannel shirt and jeans. I may swap out my outfit. I don't know. With the new armor we have, it doesn't really cover your chest or anything. It just, like, goes around your neck like you've got some kind of weird injury or something. So, anyways, I'll take all of this stuff. We got an incendiary. Why would you use that, the gamma gun, instead of the incendiary rifle? Apparently, I can't really do much with that. That was, a, that was an odd engagement. It was not one that I was expecting. I also have no backup right now, which is weird, but still... Every single time. I swear to God. Everybody gets mad at me in my life, so this is the weirdest. I'm going to explain my predicament here. I am a YouTuber. I am often recording. Frequently, I'm recording. A lot of the time. Like, I'd say a good chunk of every day. And people get mad because I don't turn my cell phone on. I leave it on silent all the time, so I miss a lot of messages. But, like, any time I unsilence my phone, instantaneously somebody calls me during an episode. Every single time. I seriously took my phone off silence like eight minutes ago like for realsies I took it off I took a bathroom break in between recordings and during that bathroom break I took it off silent the second I sit down to do an episode bing boong bing boong bing boong like ugh I hate that we live in the future and people have cell phones seriously cell phones are obnoxious I strongly wish the only thing I like cell phones for so I'll make a caveat here I wish cell phones had never been invented they are the worst it just allows people to bother you whenever you're doing other stuff it makes it so at the dinner table, everybody just sits around staring at their phone and nobody converses or anything anymore. They're just awful, and there's no benefit to having them aside from the fact that you can... Once again, the benefit is the downside. You can get a hold of anybody at any moment, but I don't need to get a hold of anybody. I can count the amount of phone calls I make that are non-business related on, like, one hand. Like, usually I'll just be like, yeah, we set up plans on Facebook or something, and then, like, it'll happen later on, and if you don't show up, then I'll call you, but... By and large, I hate cell phones. I load them. It's actually my pet peeve is most of the way people sit there and stare at them when you're, like, at family functions and stuff. I'd be like, could we just, like, 
not do that? Like, can we just make a rule that if you do this, I get to punch you in the head over and over and over again? Ugh, nothing makes me madder than when I'm trying to talk to somebody and they're staring at their phone. Well, like, yeah, this is not cool. What was that? I heard beeping. Something about to shoot me? I feel like something's about to shoot me. Let's stay on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Shooting sting wings and blood bugs with my ten. I just can't wait to get on the road again. A festering bloat fly. So we're going to treat this like an MMO, aren't we? Damn it. I hate these damn things without a shotgun. They upset me. I don't really want to waste my ammo shooting. These ones are taking cover. These bugs are a little bit smarter than the previous ones that we have... I'm gonna shoot the shit out of you. You better stop. I could avoid falling off a ledge for a second. There's one more over here. The insectoids in this game are pretty tough to hit. They can be a pain. Sometimes you just gotta hope. Every now and again they slow down. Then you can get them. Wait, that one's normal? Oh, well then just point blank him. Cool. So what are some of these radio signals that I have right now? Because it says I have radio signals. What is this? I think I actually, I need to turn up my radio. I got the audio turned down so that radios don't screw me. Oh no, the radio's up. I don't know what's going on then. We have an odd situation. It seems kind of quiet though. Maybe it's because I'm... Yeah, I think I must not be close enough. I don't know if it's going to get louder for me yet, but I wish that it would. God, sprinting uses up so much core, but I don't even care because I went back to the place and got like the 20 free cores that the Brotherhood gives you. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocols 1-7 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect. Is if you are in distress, please proceed to the South Boston Military Checkpoint Parade. Coordinates are available in your emergency handbook. This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion, and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. This safe house is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non-military family members, will be turned away from matters of national safety. This message will repeat. It seems like you shouldn't leave such giant pauses in your sentence. It seems like a recipe for people to just interrupt you all the time. I would assume it would get obnoxious. Well, since I no longer have my buddy with me, I'm going to go science too because I like upgrading my... I love upgrading my, my gear and my... I'm sorry, my... Why can I not my power armor? Oh my god. It's gonna be one of those days, is it? It's gonna be one of those days, is it? I'll probably leave that where it's at. We could go after Gunslinger. non animatic pistols do 60% more damage. That'd be kind of cool. I'd probably go with a little bit of luck, too. Fortune Finder. Actually, let's get after... Yeah, let's get after the ammunition, because I'm always having trouble with ammunition, so... We'll throw some points in there. I know that I could upgrade this one over here or whatever. The... Where did it go? Oh, yeah. The local leader. So that I could do the other thing. But I don't really care that much. So, does that add anything to my... I don't think that that added anything to my quests. Yeah, I don't think that added anything to my quests. The hell was that? Let me just fire a rocket into the air or something. God, this place is terrifying. Looks like there's some kind of radio relay up on top of that building right there. I'm gonna try and stay on task though for a little bit. I don't do so good at this. So do I have to change my core like manually or will it just change it on its own when it gets down to zero? I guess we're about to find out. We are about to learn this the hard way. On this side, looks like we got a busted-ass house. 
If you're looking for extra timbers, this would be the place to be at. Trinity Tower radio signal laws. That's probably that thing over there. That looks like a pretty important place. Am I on the right quest right now? Is that the only one that I have? Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Sometimes I get off and I just end up wandering in the wrong direction and it's just like a mess. Jump that fence real fast. It's got to be out here somewhere, right? You'd think the Brotherhood of Steel and the Minutemen would be like hand in hand ready to do some get Absalom. Well, is Absalom. Absalom Alekum. It didn't give us any XP. So who is this cat? He's got a bunch of combat armor. That's all I need to know. I'm okay with it. Take that combat armor. It doesn't look like there's anybody else around that's trying to murder us, so... I guess I'll just keep my head down? I'm not really so sure. There might be like a gunner outpost out here somewhere. What's up with that spotlight? Oh, look at that. What is this? Big old building of some kind. I'll go ahead and use a little bit of health items right now. Should be able to handle these guys no problem. A little bit of damage right there, but the armor should soak the majority. Oh, look at that. They got battle doggies. Well, I had a battle doggy. I am all about putting my enemy's possessions in the past tense. You serious right now, battle dog? Y'all should just know better than what you're trying right now. I hate how headshots don't do shit in this game. Like you shoot something right in the nugget and ain't nothing happen. You're like, ah, you know, I got shot in the face today, but I'm good. I only lost like 10% of my health bar. Got some light dog armor. That's pretty sweet. Some goggles and a bandana. I guess I'll take all that because why not? Why not? We got coffee tins, coffee pots. Looks like we got a decent cook site right here. Keep your eyes open. I think this asshole's using a stealth board. Or this asshole is right in front of you and you just really, really, really had bad perceptional abilities. It's Over always here. possible. Oh, look at you. Trying to stand right there and give me the shotgun at point blank range. Couldn't have possibly thought that was going to work out for you, did you? The wasters are the one you got to watch out for. I'm just going to point blank them. That one worked okay. It was all the other ones that didn't seem to want to go through the way that I wanted them to. There's got to be some treasure around here. This is a pretty big raider base. Although somebody had said when I was streaming, I was playing this the other day on, on Twitch TV, which by the way, you should check out if you haven't. My Twitch channel is always listed down below the episode. Anyway, somebody had mentioned during my Twitch stream that like raiders will build bases places randomly and that you just got to fight your way through. And so maybe this is one of the first times we come across that. He's got a couple of combat armor pieces. I don't think that I want them though. Is there anything on the bus? The loot on the bus goes in my bag, in my bag, in my bag. Loot on the bus goes in my bag, and I sell it for caps. It's inside of here, just like a restroom. Okay. Some pre war money right there. A couple more doors. A little bit of cash. A little can't do that while in power arm, really. Huh. Oh, and we'll jump out of the power armor then. Look upon my ugly ass armor. Look upon it in despair, nerd castle. So apparently I can't use terminals when I'm in power armor. That seems... Oh, I don't need that. Never mind. Didn't need to be in here anyways. Let me take a look. I guess I'll put on the combat armor helmet. Not all the leg pieces and whatnot. We're just barely over the top as far as... 
fairly over the top as far as our wearable gear goes. That is an ugly ass helmet. That is a Melvin of a helmet right there. I don't know if I could maintain the proper respect on a battlefield for somebody wearing that hat. It's an ugly hat. Like I told you, it looks like we're wearing a neck brace. I don't know who's in charge of designing some of the armor in this game, but they screwed up. They did not do well. They performed at well below spec. Well, I figure since we're here already, what is this, Andrew Station? Well, Andrew Station's about to get plumbed. Like, it seems to me as though the weapons they put in, I'm sorry, the weapons look good, the power armor looks great, but the armor's kind of lackluster. A lot of it doesn't even cover, like, soft spots on your character, you know what I mean? Like, it's just sitting there. Throw a nade out over there. There we go. Get him to mutate a little bit. One down. Take a couple of foot shots while we're in the neighborhood. If he doesn't want to come down, I'll just nickel away. There you go. I'll get Terminator up in here. Shooting out kneecaps all day long. Oh my god, my nerve. You shot me in my nerve. Who else down here wants to get a piece, though? I assure you, a piece is more than enough. Like, I'm the big piece of cake. The punishing synth left arm. Reflects 10% melee damage back on an attacker. That's pretty good. It's not too bad at all. Starting to see a lot of these guys running around a lot better loot, though. That's good. I was waiting for it to happen. It seems like somewhere around level 15, 16, or 17 seems to be the transfer. Oh, good. I blew up a dog, too. Well... Waster in the side of the head right there. Get rid of the can chimes. Yeah, these cats got way better gear. Seems like it bounces off the armor too, which is funsies. I don't know if that works for us, but it's definitely working for them. There we go, another 38 XP. That spotlight out of my eyes here. Oh yeah, look at you cats. There we go. That's what I like to see. A little bit of explosive damage down in there. Let them find out. The bounce on that one was much greater than I expected. Oh, I'm low on health. It's a pretty good grenade if it's still dealt damage from that far away. Let me jump into my aid menu. I gotta use some of this crap that I got laying around on this side. It's eating up all kinds of space. There you go. Fight me close range. I like enemies that hold still and fight me at close range. That fills me with joy. I got 10 bullets left. You sure you don't want to move? This magazine is basically endless. Get rid of the bathroom scale real fast. I don't know if it's got like a grenade blossom up here or what's going on. Rather not mess with it, though. The Berserker's machete. Don't care at all about that. The frag is nice, though. Replace a little bit of the gear that I've been playing around with. Man, these guys dug in, aren't they? They got all kinds of goodies. Flight helmets, all kinds of good stuff. I don't really need any of it. Bunch of landmines in here that apparently they can't trigger on themselves, I guess. I suppose that was made for balancing. Sounds as though we might be able... Yeah, there's an opening on the other side. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlamp real quick. The Brotherhood doesn't come to visit. Yikes. Baseball gloves. Nothing else looks good, though. I'll probably die with a camera in hand. Buff out. Looks like we got a thing of noodles. I'll take a noodle cup. Never know when you're going to need those heels. Anybody else over here fragmented all over the place? That scared me for a second. Mannequins weird me out. I don't know how I feel about mannequins. 
That one got a pencil and a toy car inside of it. Not exactly what I'm after. I know you can pick up those and you can turn them into the bottle cap mines or whatever. Blow that up real fast. I doubt that it's going to be of any use to us now that we've wiped out everybody else on here. Got a bobby pin box in there. I got more bobby pins than I know what to do with anyway, so... I'm assuming our core is about to go out, so I'm assuming he'll swap out the core when we need it. I don't know if there's like a Z key button or something like that. There it is. I don't know if there's a Z key like, you know, when you play Ark or whatever and you can make your character go shit by pressing the Z key. I don't know if there's anything like that around here, but it'd be appreciated. Some bottle caps, a little bit of cash. I don't think this is going to be a high loot location. Peripherals are severely limited in this helmet. I thought that was a picture of a kitty for a second. I was about to get excited. Like, yay, the future has appreciation for kitties, too. I like kitties a lot. Kitties are among my favorite things in the world. Got it. Perfect. Got them five, five, sixes. Actually, all that seems pretty good to me. Why not? Empty milk bottles, Nuka-Cola machines. I already carry around too much Nuka-Cola anyways. I don't even care anymore. Got way too much of that shit laying around. You stop that. It's slightly annoying. Mark 4. Moving on up in the world. Getting stronger and stronger, these turrets. You can shoot the red canisters, by the way. I had no idea the fences were destructible, though. I learned a new thing today. These are pretty high-level raiders in here, actually. Like, we've been fighting our way through here, but were it not for the power armor, I think we would have a serious problem on our hands. Yeah, I don't think that one landed where I wanted it to land. Ooh, somebody's got a big gun over here. Got me feeling like a tough guy. Putting pellets on my otherwise undamaged and beautiful ass. Cool. And save it once again real fast in case I'm wrong and this thing like blows up or something if I don't change the core. Okay, so yeah, it swapped it on out. Good. That's all that I really cared about, getting my freebie core on. Fragmentation grenades to replace the one that I wasted since we didn't even kill anything with it. But yeah, I had no idea these barricades could be blown up. I learned a thing today. You think it would stink like ass down and in here if you're just gonna be like, oh, it's just a double barrel? Okay. You think it would smell really bad in here if you're just gonna like impale heads on sticks and let them rot or whatever? I don't know. I keep a tidier house. It's just me. Nothing I want from in there. Prithee tell, sir. Where does this go? Wow, we're getting pretty deep out in here. This went a lot further than I suspected. Uh, there's sizzly sounds. Oh, apparently the entire tunnel was on fire. Shoot that one in the dick over and over again until he... You know, I'm not okay with the cane aside here. Oh, look at that. That one's got better stats. Alright. Stuck around the corner real fast. Get some mutt chops in my system. Fuel myself with the healing power of dog meat. Apparently the survivalist is really high level. I don't know though. Out of rounds. 
Got 21 left in the chamber. It'll be fine. I'll leave it alone. What did you have on you? Anything good? Not really, actually. For all your levels and your cool designations and your extra little symbols, you were not that badass. Lots of refuse, but not much else. Pretty big raider hideout, though. Pretty big raider hideout. There's the good shit right there. That's what we're looking for. That's fine. Chew on my leg all you want. I don't even care. Chances are you ain't getting through, though. Spike dog collar. I'll take that. We don't have one of those. I gotta find dog meat in all them, though. I have no idea where some of my little friends ended up after I told them to come back to town. Either way, I think we're out of time for the day. I have more or less... I think we gotta be about done, right? I mean, we're pretty deep inside this place right now. We're still finding treasure, though, so maybe we'll finish it off in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. See y'all later, everybody. Thanks for stopping by for another episode of Fallout 4. If you haven't yet, check out the Twitch stream. I'll have the information down below for you. Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. I'm trying to get as many people interested in the channel right now as possible because I do think that Twitch streaming is going to take a larger part. Huh. A larger part of my career as time goes along. I'll see y'all later. Hi, do everybody.